Hello students, this is Pharmacology Chapter 2, Part 2. This graph shows the oral administration of a single dose drug. The time of onset is 2 hours and the end of drug action is 8 hours. This means that the drug has a duration of action of 6 hours. The plasma half-life is about 4 hours. The half-life again is the time that it takes to decrease the concentration by one half or 50%. Bioavailability is the rate at which and the extent to which a drug is absorbed into the systemic circulation. Drugs which are delivered intravenously have 100% bioavailability because the entire amount of the drug enters the bloodstream instantaneously. Pharmacodynamics deals with the action a drug has on the body and the mechanism of action of the drug. Some terminology in pharmacodynamics is drug dose, which is the quantity of the drug which is administered. Drug response describes the response or what the drug does and explains how the drug causes that response. Drug action refers to the response of living matter to administered chemicals. A loading do dose is a high dose of a drug which is given initially to rapid, rapidly establish a therapeutic plasma drug concentration. Refer to figure 2-13 for more information. A maintenance dose is a lower dose that is used to maintain a desired drug level for the desired amount of time. Figure 2-13 shows how repeated doses of a drug can accumulate in the blood. Eventually, a plateau is reached where the level of drug in the blood is maintained continuously within the therapeutic range. Drug A and drug B are both administered every 12 hours, but drug B reaches the therapeutic range faster because a loading dose of drug B was given, but with drug A, no loading dose was given, so it takes longer to reach the therapeutic range. For example, 1,000 milligrams of penicillin VK is given immediately as a loading dose to obtain high initial blood levels, followed by 500 milligrams four times a day as a maintenance dose. The therapeutic range is the concentration of the drug in the plasma between the MEC and the toxic concentration, where MEC stands for the minimum effective concentration. Drug clearance is the capacity of the body to remove a drug. The dosage of a drug must be adjusted for children and the elderly as well as patients with renal and liver impairment. The site where the drug attachment takes place is termed the receptor and is regarded as being specific cell molecules. Receptors will bind either a drug that is administered into the body or a substance that is created endogenously. Some drugs do not act upon receptors. Instead, these drugs act as an indirect or nonspecific drug reaction. An agonist is a drug that rapidly combines with a receptor to initiate a response. An antagonist is a drug that binds to the receptor but does not disassociate and has no positive response and no efficacy, but it blocks the reaction of an agonist. 
A partial agonist is a drug that slowly binds to the receptor and produces a mild therapeutic response, but it can act like an antagonist by blocking stronger agonist drugs from binding. In a graded dose response, as the dose of the drug is increased, there is a gradual progressive increase in the response until a maximum effect is seen. Types of dose responses. The drug causes a response with each dose and the maximal response is produced when all of the functional receptors are occupied. Less of a response can be seen when only half of the functional receptors are occupied. In this dose response relationship, you can see that as the dose of the drug increases, a maximal response or a plateau is reached. If you increase the dr drug dose, no additional therapeutic response is produced. Potency means the dose or amount of drug required to produce a particular or specific biologic effect relative to a given or implied standard of reference. The efficacy of a drug refers to the ability to produce a therapeutic effect regardless of the dose. The terms potency and efficacy are used to describe the success of drug therapy. The therapeutic index or TI is the ratio of a drug's toxic dose to its therapeutic dose. The effective dose, ED50, is the drug dose that produces 50% of the maximum possible response. The lethal dose, or LD50, is the dose at which 50% of the test animals die. TI, or therapeutic index, is equal to the lethal dose 50 divided by the effective dose 50. So a safe drug will have a high TI, generally at least 10. Figure 2-16 shows effect log dose curves for the analgesic action of three narcotics and aspirin. Hydromorphone is more potent than morphine and codeine regardless of the response level at which they are compared. Aspirin has a lower potency. The therapeutic effect refers to the desirable beneficial effect of the drug. Undesirable drug effects can be in the category of an adverse drug event or adverse drug reactions. Adverse drug reactions include adverse effects, toxic reactions, idiosyncratic reactions, allergic reactions, and mutagenic and teratogenic reactions. Drug effect that is noxious and unintended and that occurs at doses used in humans for prophylaxis, diagnosis, or therapy are termed adverse drug reactions. They, if this reaction occurs, it requires discontinuation of the drug or changing the drug therapy. Adverse drug reactions require modifying the dose, may require admission to a hospital. They are not predictable and unintentional. An example is a rash that is related to taking penicillin. Adverse effects are undesirable side effects that develop because drugs are not totally selective in their actions. Additional drug actions at therapeutic levels that are just as typical and characteristic of a drug's pharmacologic effect as the desired response. They will occur just as regula regularly as the therapeutic effect. Every medication has potential adverse effects. 
Generally, adverse effects are dose related. The higher the dose, the greater the adverse effects. Adverse effects and toxicity develop because drugs are not totally selective in their actions and the problem of overdosage leads to an increase in drug response. Any type of adverse drug effect or event should be reported to the FDA through the MedWatch program. Table 2-5 shows the different drug effects, which include therapeutic, adverse drug events, adverse drug reactions, toxic reactions, allergic reactions, and idiosyncratic reactions. Table 2-6 lists common serious adverse drug reactions. A toxic effect is defined as harmful effects associated with drug overdosage. They are dose dependent and predictable and non-target organs are involved. Idiosyncrasy is the unexplained, uncharacteristic response to a drug. It can be caused by hereditary factors or genetic differences. An allergic response is an antigen antibody complex. It is not dose dependent and is unpredictable. It can range from a mild rash to anaphylaxis. Penicillin allergy is an example. A mutagenic reaction is caused by drug induced damage to DNA. The display of damage is evident in the children from these parents. Essentially, it is an inherited genetic defect. A teratogenic reaction refers to the drug-induced damage that develops in the fetus. It depends on when the drug exposure occurred during the DNA replication cycle. It can be a minor error where the damage occurred in only one base pair or a major error where there is an abnormal protein and no protein is produced. Most teratogenic drug effects become evident when the fetus is in the first trimester of organogenesis. Drugs can interact with other drugs, with food, and with disease to produce an unusual response. For example, tetracycline taken with dairy products will decrease the absorption of tetracycline. Alcohol taken with metronidazole causes a di disulfiram reaction. Disulfiram is also known as antabuse and it is a drug that is taken or given to people to try to cure alcoholism. The reaction symptoms include flushing of the skin, accelerated heart rate, shortness of breath, nausea and vomiting, and could result in circulatory collapse. Food taken with certain medications can decrease the absorption of that drug. Factors that modify drug effects include biologic variation, adaptation, tolerance, tachyphylaxis, which means the rapid appearance of a progressive decrease in response to a given dose after repetitive administration, and placebo. Placebo effect. The placebo effect refers to the phenomenon that is seen during clinical trials where a patient in the trial is given a non-active version of the supposed drug and they report that they are having the beneficial ex effects of the drug even they, though they did not receive the drug. This concludes the second lecture for Chapter 2 in Pharmacology.